All Bodies Welcome Yoga. Today we're going to be doing a practice um, to help you unwind and stretch it out a little bit after traveling, be it flying or driving or what have you. Uh, this will be pretty much all on the floor. So we will be sitting, doing a little bit of kneeling as well. And I'll give some options for things you can do if you have sensitive knees, etc., like that. Don't forget, you can always do this on a bed or sometimes even on a sofa. So don't be afraid to adapt and just make it your own. Before we get started, please make sure that you like this video so that other people can find it, that you're subscribed so you don't miss a video. And don't forget to share this with someone who could use a little stretching and unwinding in their life. <laughs> You can check out the Patreon link below for our virtual studio. Studio members get early access to YouTube classes, discounts on my group classes, and a lot of other cool things, including getting a chance to give your suggestions for YouTube classes. This was requested by a Patreon member. Every month I kind of put the call out there to see what they're looking for in YouTube classes, and that inspires a lot of what we do here on this space. So if that's something that you're interested in, and getting kind of a peek behind the scenes, you can always check out Patreon. Okay, so for class day, I want to make sure that we have something comfortable to sit on. We're going to need a strap today, and I think a block would be nice to have as well, or something else that you could put under your hips for the end of class. And if you have sensitive knees or wrists, maybe a couple firm blankets, like a crochet blanket or a quilt that won't slip too much that you could put under your knees or under your wrists. We're gonna get started with a little bit of breathing. And today for our breathing, we are going to extend our legs long in front of us into staff pose. And we are going to turn our toes towards each other. And we're gonna just do a little bit of breathing here to get started. Some slow and steady inhales. Try not to the shoulders relax. Moving the head back slightly so that your head is right over the tailbone. You can always adjust if you need to. But this sensation here down the sides of the legs helps stretch out our IT bands. And it's great to just kind of reset some of the muscles and the tendons in the legs. One more inhale here and then release the legs and just give the toes a little bit of like a flap. Then we're going to bring the feet in towards each other for Baddha Konasana. Letting the knees open up wherever is comfortable. If you tend to extend out of the hips too much, if you're hypermobile, you can put blocks under your knees here. Otherwise, just let gravity kind of hold them wherever they feel comfortable. Sitting up tall, let's just start with just kind of getting this opening here. Hello, Jolene. Inviting the shoulders to open up. Kind of taking up some space maybe you couldn't take up in your seat in the car or on a plane. Take a big inhale. Let's exhale, lean forward. Just letting the heart come forward, pointing till still, still pointing to the front of the room. Deepening that stretch through the hips, through the groin. Hello, Joy. One more inhale, and then exhale, come on up. Reset, find that long spine. 
And then let's take those legs long once more. Find that staff pose again, flex the feet, and turn the toes in towards each other. And see if you just feel a little bit more ease doing it this time. One more inhale, and then exhale, let's draw back to Baddha Konasana once more. Just see if you can feel some new space, if you can sit up a little bit taller. One more inhale, exhale, let's lean forward. And see this time if you can lean a little bit farther, maybe it feels good now to bow the head. One more inhale. Exhale, come on up. And then we're going to take our left leg long, bend the right knee, press the foot into the right thigh, right foot into the left thigh. We're gonna sit up tall here. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna exhale, we're gonna take a twist. So you're twisting towards your bent knee. Your hand behind you for support, close to the tailbone so you're staying up tall. And we're gonna lift our right arm so we can get a big stretch through the right side of the body here, maintaining the twist. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lean over towards the foot. You can flex the foot here, or you can keep the foot soft. One more inhale, exhale, bring it on up. Reset back at center, big inhale, big exhale. And let's switch sides. I'm sitting the right leg long. Bring the left foot in. Sit up tall. And then exhale, turn to the left. One more big inhale, then reach that left arm up. Get a big stretch here, opening up the left side, starting straight up, lengthening, twisting, big inhale. Exhale, let's take it over to the right. Big inhale, exhale, return back to center. Bring those feet back into Baddha Konasana, open up, big inhale. Big exhale. And then let's take a twist like this. Inhale, turn to the right. Now bring the breathe slowly and gently. One more inhale, exhale back to center, inhale center, exhale, take it to the opposite side.
big inhale, exhale, return to center, big inhale here, big exhale, and then you can go into a cross leg or a staff leg, whatever you'd prefer, you can stay here in Baddha Konasana. We are going to extend the arms long, big inhale, we're going to take the right arm on top, left arm under, holding on to the four, the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, wherever you can get a comfortable grip. And let's let the shoulder blades spread apart. Big inhale, big exhale, and inhale, lift it on up slightly. Letting it feel a little stretch across the back through the shoulder blades. One more big inhale, exhale, unwind, inhale, big stretch. And then exhale, bring the left arm on top, right arm under, find your comfortable space here. Let the shoulder blades spread apart. Think about them rounding through the back. And then inhale, lift it up. One more big inhale, exhale, unwind, inhale, big stretch, wiggle the fingers, turn the palms all the way away for rotation, wiggle the fingers, big inhale, then exhale, bring it back to center, take a big inhale here, and a big exhale, now let's stretch out the neck, let's turn our gaze all the way to the right. One more inhale, exhale, take it all the way to the opposite side. One more inhale, exhale, bring it back to center. Dip the chin down and then do a little circle. So when we do this circle, we're not leaning the back of the head back at all. Chin tucks down, right here to right shoulder, lift the head up and over, and then left ear to left shoulder. One more rotation around and we get to center, let's switch. we just are avoiding dipping back so that we don't pinch anything in our neck moving too fast. Do one more rotation and we'll meet back with our chins tucked at center. And from here we are going to pick the gaze up, look straight forward, big inhale, exhale, gently extend the chin up towards the ceiling making room for the head to maybe rest against the shoulders. Feeling a big stretch down underneath the chin, down through the neck, into the chest. Big inhale, big exhale. And then bring it on up. And we're gonna move over to our hands and knees next. So on your hands and knees, if you have sensitive knees or sensitive wrists, you can Put a blanket under them for support. You can also do this portion in a chair if you prefer. So in our tabletop, we have our hands, 
underneath our shoulders. You can also go under your forearms here for less wrist tension, or you can go onto your knuckles with your thumbs pointing forward. We're gonna let our belly drop, shoulders pinch back, heart lifts for cow. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, press the hands in the mat for catch. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then from here, we're going to move into a little bit of a low lunge. We're going to keep our right knee on the floor, step our left foot forward. You can walk the hands back, come on up, and then bring the left foot forward, bending into the knee, finding your sweet spot, both hands on the quad. And if you're in a chair, you wanna make sure that you're just elevating the left foot so that left thigh is rising towards the belly. And you can lean forward slightly. Getting some nice big breaths here, letting the hips sink, both hips pointing forward. What are you doing, Jolene? One more inhale. And then exhale, let's reset. Oh, hi, Jolene. Reset the tabletop. Gently come on down. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale, belly drops for cow, heart rises. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Walk the hands back up, come on up. Bring the right foot forward, left knee stays. And find your sweet spot where the hips can start to sink. You can bring both hands to the thigh here. Breathing gently. Maybe feeling like there's more room on one side of the body than the other. That's very normal. One more inhale. Exhale. Step it back. And back to child's pose once more. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And then we're going to walk it back once more. You can sit back on your heels if that feels good for a minute while we get ready. Or you can just stay in tabletop if that's uncomfortable. We're going to tuck our toes and do a little foot stretch. So if sitting back on your heels isn't comfortable, you can stay in tabletop and tuck your toes. Or in a chair, you'll just tuck your toes where you're sitting. You might need to elevate your feet a little bit so you can really feel the stretch. But that's what we're gonna do for the next minute or so. This lot of us have very tight feet from the shoes we wear, um, especially if we wear dress shoes a lot. So feel free to pulse with this, come in and out of it as you need a break, but just you know, listen to your body. It should feel like a stretch. It shouldn't feel like any popping or ripping sensation, um, but it can feel really intense. So listen to what you're feeling and take a lot of breaks. So you can sit back as much as you would like to. Start breathing gently. Halfway there to a minute. What you doing, Jolene? Messing with her hot spot. Fifteen more seconds, breathing gently. 
10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release the feet. And set it back if that feels good or any other relaxation pose that you would like to rest in for a minute. Big inhale, big exhale. Great job. We're gonna take a wide-legged child's hold next. If you wanna make this more restored, you can put a pillow or a folded blanket or some blocks under the space where your chest will rest, that way you just get a little bit more elevation. It might help also send your hips back towards your feet, depending on where your body weight is distributed. Sometimes it's harder for us to get our weight back when we're laying down. I'm gonna use blocks and then a blanket on top. Open the knees up wide, let the toes touch. Let the heart come down towards the floor. Again, if it doesn't touch, maybe you want some props to try out. Adjusting anywhere in the body that might need the adjustment. Maybe the knees start to gently spread wider apart. One more inhale. Let's press on up and we'll make our way onto our sides next. So on our side, you can support the hand with a pillow or the head. You can support the head with the pillow or your hand, whatever is comfortable. We're going to start with a little side split. So we're going to walk the top leg back slightly. You should start to feel maybe a little sensation here across the top of the hip as it reaches back behind you. You can start to spread the legs apart as wide as feels comfortable while still staying balanced on that ground hip. And this is where our straps gonna come into play. Draw the knee up towards the chest. We like to get access to your foot. We're gonna take our strap around our top foot. So it might take a little finagling to get there. Once you have the strap around your foot, you can walk the leg back slightly, bend the knee, and using your top arm as well, just find your quad stretch. Maybe you reach your foot just fine, you don't even need a strap, but a strap is nice if you're not straining out of the shoulder and focusing all about reaching this way you can just focus on the quad stretch and you can play with you know pulling your quad tighter pulling it back farther really trying to reach the arms away just experiment here listen to the body notice if anything feels pulling painfully or you know a burning sensation we just want to stretch this quad out Bring the calf back towards the back of the thigh. One more inhale here and then let's let go of the strap, release the leg. And roll onto your back, take a big full body stretch, and then we're going to switch sides. Now, like on your opposite side, let's start with our sides. <laughs> Jolene, <laughs> you go up here. And our side split, let's walk the top leg back. So much of this little hip can start to. Good stretch, foot can find the floor.
Breathing gently. One more inhale and bring the foot, the legs back in line. Take a big little, big little stretch, big stretch. And let's set up our posture on the opposite side. Grab your strap. Look down at your other foot. Lasso that foot, bend the knee. And draw the foot back behind the butt. The calf towards the thigh. Breathing here. One more inhale and then unwind. Release your strap. Let's roll into our backs once more. And take a big inhale, full body stretch. And then exhale, relax. From here, I'm going to bend your knees, plant the feet on the floor. We'll get ready for bridge pose. We're going to press the feet into the floor. So much we can start to lift the hips up, and then we're going to slide a block or a small pillow, whatever you have handy, under the hips. Letting the arms rest at your sides or open in a T. Giving the hips a chance to elevate above the heart. Breathing gently. And then from here, we're going to finish with a final inversion. We're going to do legs up the wall. You can also grab a chair and put your calves on the seat of a chair. Or if that's not an option that you're interested in, you can extend the legs long and prop the feet up on some pillows or the arm of a sofa. And you can just get your, head, your feet a little bit higher than your head and your heart. For legs up the wall, once you've removed your prop under your hips from bridge pose, you can make your way to a wall, a sofa, anything that you can extend your legs up the side of or up in front of. The best way to get into legs up the wall is to scoot your hips as close to the wall as you can. And then pivot. and walk the feet up the wall. Take your time getting there. Open the arms up wide into a T when you're there. <coughs> Good God. Take your time getting settled, checking with the body, noticing if you're holding any tightness anywhere. Arms can open up wide into a T. And feel free to make shapes with the legs. You can come back to Baddha Konasana and bring the soles of the feet together. 
You can stretch the legs really wide apart. You can hold them close together. You can turn the toes in. Or you can just hang out and rest. This is great for helping blood flow in the legs, lymphatic drainage, moving any fluid around in the legs that you might be holding on to after traveling. And as this goes on, just checking in with how the body is feeling. And there's you need to make any adjustments. If you need to take a break or not. In my opinion, the longer you're here, the better. You can't be in this pose for too long. There's no max for this pose. And you can stay here even after class ends. So just go ahead and get comfortable. Maybe even you want to close down the eyes. When you're ready to come down, you can gently roll to one side, let the legs sweep along the wall until you can roll over and then press on up, we'll finish in a seat. Hopefully after this class, you're feeling refreshed, have moved the fluid around in the body, gotten some stretch into some sore muscles. You can always come back to this practice whenever you need a little bit of a refresh if you've been sitting too long or, you know, feeling cramped. So take this practice with you whenever you need it. Again, don't forget to like this video so other people can find it in the algorithm that is out there. Subscribe so you don't miss a video and share this with someone who you know is coming back from a trip soon. You can find us on Patreon if you want more All Bodies Welcome Yoga and we will see you again next week. Thanks everyone. Bye.